Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I want to show you how you can quickly and simply create charts and graphs inside Microsoft Excel and how you can customize it to get just the look you're looking for to show your data. If you'd like to follow along with the same data that I'm using, I'll put a link to this down below in the description. And when you click on it, you can just go ahead, go to file, and then just go copy or download a copy. And then you're gonna have that copy to use in Excel. So what I'm gonna do in today's tutorial on graphing and charting is just recreate this chart that I have right here of the 2021 revenue between TikTok and YouTube. And you can see in the data up here that I do have Disney and Netflix, but I just don't have it in, but you can go ahead and add uh, those series in also, and I'll show you how you can do that. Now I'm just gonna go to sheet two where I have the exact same information. So you can always check back uh, on sheet one of their practice file two uh, to see what the chart looks like. Now with this one, I just want to show you the, a quick way you can add a chart and that's what I'm going to start with and I'm going to show you three different ways. So I could select an area that I want to add uh, a chart to. So if I select Netflix here and just highlight the four quarters here, I can quickly add it with a shortcut. So if I go ahead and hit Alt F1, it quickly puts in the chart. Notice when I get the move handle, I can move the chart all, all around. Now there'd be more customization I need to do to this still, uh, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So I'm just gonna hit delete. I had that selected and I, I'm gonna hit delete. Now I could also, and I tend to do this. So if I was gonna create it on Netflix, I go to the insert and you can see there's recommended charts. There's all these different charts, but a lot of times I'll click on recommended and at this point I get some ideas of what one, maybe I want a line graph or this clustered bar or uh, you can see the different ones. So if I choose this one, I can just hit okay and now I have this, uh, this chart in just like this and I could go through and start customization. I'm gonna delete that, this one one more time here and I'm gonna show you one more way you can do it. Even if you're not uh, selected in the data range here, if I was just gonna go insert and you can still go to your recommended charts here if I just, let's say, pick this pie graph here and 3D pie graph. Now there's nothing here, but at this point, what I could do is go ahead and select my data. So you can see that there's different series that I could add, uh, and then there's the horizontal uh, categories that I could add. So at this point, if I was gonna uh, go ahead and do Netflix, I could go, uh, what's the series, na series name? I could go click on Netflix, then I could click on this and I could just go through and then hit enter like so and I have the graph in and I can still do some customization customization of this because I might not want this to be one two three four I could go to quarters and highlight these right here and you can see the cues are there now and just like that I've done some customization so different ways that I can add charts so let's go ahead and I'm going to start with gathering uh, information about YouTube uh, to put in a chart just before I grab the information on YouTube here, I wanna point out a little tip here. So let's say if I wanted to select uh, maybe these different streaming uh, video services here and highlight them. If I wanted to just do the total revenue over here, if you hold control down on your computer, you can select both and then you'd be able to make your graph from there. So if you were doing your shortcut again, if I do the Alt F1, I can quickly put the graph in based on uh, based on that information. So I just want to point it out, you can use holding down control to select different areas of the data on it. Another thing I want to point out is that you can select multiple rows at once with it. So if I was selecting everything here and picking all four quarters and then went up to insert my graph. So if I was just going to do a simple one like this, you can see that it selected everything in there and then I can go ahead and make any customization from there. When I start with YouTube here, I'm just going to start with one at a time and show you how you can add uh, to your graphs. All right, let's go to YouTube now. So this is the first information that I wanna pull in. So I'm just gonna highlight this right through here and I'm gonna to go to my insert 
and I know I'm actually going to want a uh, bar graph here so you could I could choose and I can change these after notice as I hover over any of these it shows me what I want but you can change this you can always change your graph nothing set uh, I'm just going to select this just like this and move this over when I have the graph selected here you can see that it shows what it's representing in the data what's highlighted right here uh, what I want to point out first is here is what you get on this side. Uh, now this uh, plus here, if I go ahead and click on it, uh, this shows me all the different chart elements. And right now I have, uh, you can see the axis is selected on and then I can go to the arrow and I can unclick and click. You can see how it changes if you don't want those on there. Uh, if I want access titles, and I am going to want access titles on here because I want to make sure I'm just going to put in billions of dollars here. And is there any other, do I want the data labels in there? If I do, I can select it at any time. You can turn them on or off. Again, if I hover over, even without selecting, gives me that preview of everything on here. So the legend, and if I go over to the uh, uh, the right a little bit more, you can see where I can place it if I hover over where you might want it. So if I just turn that on right here, uh, I'll just leave it like that. And so I have the different things that I have, and I've already done some customization here. So what I'm gonna do now is just go through and click. If I click in any of the spots here, so it says where it says access title, I can go ahead and put in billions of dollars. So even if I, I just put my dollar sign and I'll just put billions like so and I can go ahead and name my other uh, access title here if this is going to be quarters depending if you want this or not if you don't want it you can go ahead and just select it notice how I'm on the outside of it the handle so if I select off of it again and then I select it again and I just hit delete it goes away but I still have that well it looks like I have a little error in here so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this before we move on to the next part so if you wanted to go ahead and add the access title back again if I select on this uh, I can go back and if you take a look at access titles if I select it off then select it on again it puts it back it does reset this so then at this point you can go ahead and type the uh, information that you want back in here so if I put quarters here and this was just going to be in billions here so I'll just put the uh, dollar sign here like so and put billions all right so we have it labeled and we have uh, a title up here and we have our legend now we can do this uh, in a quicker way too uh, that does kind of the same thing if we look at at the top here when I have this selected I want to point out so when I select this chart I get these two tabs up here right here we have chart design and format there's many different ways that we can uh, go ahead and make uh, changes to our chart so we have chart design here even if I right click on different objects of it uh, we can notice how I can change the series type select the data right from here if I select a different part of it it changes again what I have so in right clicking you're going to see a lot of things now when I'm under chart design and I have this selected I have the chart elements right here so I showed you through down here when we're turning them on and off we do have it right through here where we can go through and pick so you'll see as I hover over it changes uh, the chart so if I just move it over slightly so you can see it you, it gives you an idea of how everything's moving on it uh, then we have our quick layout so the quick layout as I hover over again you can see how you get that quick view on it so I'm not selecting any I'm just selecting off of it and just stays with what I have so if I uh, want to I just want to point out now that uh, with any of these here you can start making some changes to the font by using uh, the home tab too so if I wanted to change these with bold and again there's a few different ways you can do uh, all these different things but if I use the home notice if I hit bold it bolds I can change the size of my font if I wanted it larger here I can select all these and do different things here so I can go through change my font I can change my font color uh, very quickly just by going back to any of these so uh, I'm going to change my title on this one so this is going to be 2021 revenue so I'm just going to put in 2021 revenue 
just like that by clicking in. And any of these objects too, you can move, if you just select inside and grab your handles, notice I can grab the chart titles and start moving around. Any of these things I can move around uh, inside the chart. So now I'm going to go ahead and add TikTok as part of a series in here. So I'll have the two different ones. Uh, and I want to point out, yes, I could have highlighted both of them to start with, but I just wanted to show you how you can add more series as you go along or change any of them too. Uh, so if I just have this selected again, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to select data and I'm gonna hit select data. And at this point, I get this data source here. So I'm gonna add another one. So you can see YouTube's already there. And actually, I'm gonna make a quick change here because I don't want it to one, two, three, four. So if I hit edit, this was gonna be the quarters that I used before. And now I have the quarters updated here. Uh, now, so I'm gonna go ahead and add TikTok. So what was the series name here? Well, this is TikTok. I could go ahead and choose if I was gonna do Netflix or Disney or add even more, I could go ahead and do that. What's the series value? So if I select this one, uh, I could type it in, but I'm gonna highlight the uh, different ones, the different quarters that I want. So I could go ahead, hit enter or select this, and hit okay. And now I have, uh, you can see kind of what is happening there. I'm gonna go and just make sure that this is the same. I don't think it will matter on this one because I already have my access set here. Hit okay. All right, so it's not quite the uh, chart that I have in the demo one here. So if you look at it, I have it placed a little different. Now, how you can quickly change this. So if I go and I have it selected and I go up to chart design here, I'm gonna drop down and as I hover over different ones, you can see that there's different looks here. So if I go through uh, different ones, I can't find it quite yet. So the one that I used before, so if I'm gonna go back to insert here and I'm gonna do a drop down here and I know I have it kind of in uh, this one right here where it's behind each other. So I'm gonna select that one. And now right away, you notice a little bit of an issue. Well, TikTok's the smaller one there, and I don't want uh, I don't want this to be uh, the YouTube in front because it kind of blocks it out, but I can change the order there. So if I go back to the, this where the data here, the values, and I'm gonna go and select data again. At this point, you can see YouTube and TikTok are here. I'm gonna move up TikTok to the top. So if I go and just move it up like this, you can see the switch. Now this is gonna be a lot more visible like this. So that's making some change. And if you want to make some other changes, remember in your chart design, uh, how you can quickly hover over any of these to get if you wanted uh, any of these here. But anything you choose, you can customize it after too. All right, so let's do a couple more things here to this. And what I wanna do is change the color here. I do wanna point out anytime you double click on any of these, so even if I was going to double click on quarters, notice that I have format access title open up. And this is where I can be adding, uh, I can be changing things from you know a solid line. And so when I click solid line, that went around the quarters here. So I'm just gonna undo that with control Z. So this is, you can do some more format formatting of the access title of what I selected. So if I go and select this right here, uh, you can see now I can go here and start formatting. Do I want a different color? So this is where I, uh, if I wanted it, maybe that red color, I could select red and it changes. I do want to point out, even if I go to home and where the fill bucket is here, I can make changes to the color of these at this point. So again, there's multiple different ways that you can do this. Uh, and I could go through and do I want to anything else changed? Do I want, uh, right now it had no line, solid line. You can kind of see as you go through and change with any of these. So maybe if I wanted it to be kind of a black line around it, I can change how thick it is like this. So if I wanted to stand out like this. Now I could go ahead and click on the other one here, the other series here, and I have this selected, you can see it's TikTok. I could go and change it to, maybe I want it to be gray like this. And I'm gonna do, uh, this is the line here. 
And so I'm gonna go and make this a little thicker here. And so it just stands out. So I have uh, my gray, uh, maybe I could go back. If I wanna change it more, I could select it. And if I go back up to my color here, I could maybe make it a little bit darker like this. So now I've made a few more changes to the color. I Other things that you can do, which if you don't want these columns like this, if I go ahead and select this, Take a look at this over here. If I go to uh, the, this, I could go to full pyramid. I could go to partial pyramid. You can see how you can quickly change any of these. I'm gonna leave it at the box here. I do wanna point that out. And then we have series option of depth, uh, the depth and everything. As I make a few changes, you can see how things are uh, being modified in here as I move it. So again, I'm just hitting control Z on a few of these. I think each was at 150% like so to put it back to what I had. So at any of these, you can go ahead, anything you double click on, you can go and change it through the format access title, anything here if it's clicked on you can make changes in many different ways so i just want to point out uh, those different changes to get the, getting the chart to look what you want it to look like if you do want to add another series to this click on the graph again go back to your data select the data and this time maybe you want to have disney here so if i go ahead and i can hit add again so what's my series name here's disney what's my value is going to be it's going to be this right to here I'm just gonna hit enter, hit okay, and I can change the order again. So depending on where, where it works best. So if I move it up, uh, do I want it to be in the front or the back? You can see kind of the preview down here, what is happening. Then I can make through, go through and make all those changes to the colors to make it stand out and even more. Now, another thing you could do, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and Disney's out of there. Another thing that you could do in your uh, type of uh, chart type and where I'm gonna go is just here, change chart type. And remember, there's different ways that I can be doing this, even if I'm right clicking change uh, chart type lots of different ones uh, so even though the data and I've created all this I could go through I can quickly change this if I wanted a different type of uh, chart that would make sense to you uh, if you want to learn more about other charts and scientific ones I have a different video of explaining uh, that one too and I'll put a link down below in the description and up above in the card uh, but uh, what I want to point out is the combo feature you can actually have two different types of charts uh, are on it. So then, like I could change one to a line. So if I wanted YouTube to be a line and I wanted TikTok to be a clustered column, I could do that. So if I hit okay, you can see how quickly it changed uh, just like that by adding the two different types. So you can do a combo. So I could control Z and just put it back at that point. Uh, now, what can we do with this chart? So uh, I want to point out to we could add some images to this. This. So whether or not you have them saved or maybe you have them copied, uh, you could copy and paste them right from the internet. So I, what I want to do is actually put a YouTube and a TikTok logo right beside it just to make the graph or the chart a little bit more interesting. So if you want to add images, you can copy paste even from the internet. I have them saved on my computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit illustration. Uh, picture and this device and I am already in the right folder. So this first one is YouTube. Well, that's really large. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink this to a size that will work a lot better here. And that's still too large. So I'll shrink this down just like that. So even if I want to be putting it next to it and then I'm going to go get my TikTok one here. So I'm going to go insert illustration picture from this device and TikTok. And again, really large here. I'm gonna shrink this down. Uh, and remember, you can inside uh, Excel, you can do more things to the picture. Uh, if, when you have the picture selected, if you look under picture format, you can see the different things. I wanna crop this a bit. I'm gonna get the handles here uh, just because it's a little bit too much around the outside. So I'm just gonna leave it just like this, just for an example. And now it's cropped. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit more and I'll move it down. Now notice that the TikTok and YouTube are very close together there. I can grab this legend and actually stretch it out so it has space like that. 
So now I want to give it a little bit more room between this maybe and I could make these a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't need these uh, here. I'm going to go ahead, just select them, delete them, it gives a little bit more room. But now it's kind of pushing into my legend a bit. If I click right around here, I can be tricky to click. You don't want to click right in. But if I click here, notice I get the handles around everything. I can resize this. If I grab, I'm just grabbing this one here and bringing it in and now I have more room. So I've changed that. Uh, the chart area size on it just by selecting on it. I could do this to the big handles, uh, but sometimes then they can change the proportions of it, kind of skew it a little bit. But you can get uh, change the smaller one here. I'm just going to leave it right uh, to this point. So I do want to mention again that Excel, when you're creating the charts, you can do the same thing in many different ways. So just like when I select the chart, I have the style here that I can change, but I could also change it through the chart design. So again, different ways to do it, right clicking, uh, knowing that it will get you, to the, it looks like a lot of different things, but it's the same thing over and over again. So what do you do with this uh, chart when you're all done? Well, what you can do, you could save it as a picture. So I could do this by right clicking on it. And if I look, I could save it as a picture right here and then you could put it into a Word document or maybe a PowerPoint. I could actually copy this and paste this whole thing into a Word document or a PowerPoint also. But I have a different video on kind of the proper way of doing this because what you can do is link it in a way that if the data information changes, it will automatically update. So take a look at that video. If you are going to be putting this into Microsoft Word or into the Microsoft PowerPoint, I'll put a link also to that down below. So I hope you'd like this tutorial on how to create charts uh, inside uh, inside Microsoft Excel. Uh, it, once you get creating and realizing that uh, you can have a lot of fun when you're designing everything, getting the correct data into it. Let me know what else you're like uh, wanting to learn inside Microsoft Excel. Excel or other tech. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next week with more tech tips and tutorials.